Okay, so it's day two of the Japan trip. I just packed everything up in my room. I have a cafe that I want to like check out and hopefully I'll get breakfast there. It'll be a fun, exhausting day. I'll look around Osaka today and we'll see what we can find. So I just got done with breakfast. Um, I had like these pancakes with uh, red bean paste on it. And it was so good. Like they're like thick, they're like that thick. So nice. I thought it was kind of sweet, but like honestly, like it was so good. And the coffee there was like actually good. Like it wasn't just like, I don't know. I don't want to roast Starbucks or anything. I thought it tasted a lot better. Now I'm off to go look at a building that's supposed to be very tall. I also have to go to the bathroom really bad, so I have to find that too. Okay, so this is gonna be the second vlog that's gonna be publicly uploaded to YouTube. And so, um, most of the people that's gonna be like watching this know me. They're probably just like either friends or we went to the same high school. And so I don't have to do a lot, but this whole trip, my goal for this is to just kind of like figure out like what Japan's like. Cause I haven't been here in a really long time and I never actually like lived here for like a really long time. And so I don't really know what Japan's like. And so like, it's kind of like a self identity, like kind of finding trip for me right now. quietly right now because I'm on the train. Right now I'm headed towards the Osaka station. Well, I'm not actually going to that station. I'm going to a park that should be right next to it. I'm starting to feel tired. I didn't get too much sleep last night. I was like right next to the train station. It was so loud there. I went one station over and now I'm like one like one mile away from where I was supposed to go. So I either pay $1.40 to get back on a different train and go back, or I walk that mile. Right now, I'm just leaning towards just walking that mile. Right now, I am walking all the way to the state of uh, the castle. But it's like huge. Like, I'm gonna go with this rock. Okay, people that know me know that I'm not that tall. But I literally just hit my head on the ceiling. Like, I was walking up the stairs and I wasn't looking where I was going. And this, like, block just like, it kicked me, like, right in the head. Like, oh my god. I guess I'm kind of tall now. Hmm. down there but now we're up here on the eighth floor of the castle the view is like amazing but you can see the entire city of Osaka and it's huge okay, so 
So now I've been on every single floor of this castle and it was well worth the six dollars that I spent. Okay, so I'm outside of the castle now. Um, it's like 1.30 right now. I haven't gotten lunch yet, so I'm gonna do that. But I don't have a plan of what I'm gonna do after lunch. So I'm probably gonna figure that out right now. <clears throat> uh, hopefully Google Maps can help and hopefully this audio is usable. The wind is kind of crazy right now. So I'll try to do my best to like block it, but like, um, yeah, hopefully I can find something to do until like, I think around like six, five or six. And then, cause then after that, I'm gonna be taking a train all the way to Himeji. Yeah, to Himeji, where I'll be spending two nights there. And so, I need to do that. So, I need to fill up like four, four or five hours. Okay, so I just bought tickets to, uh, what is it? Kyobashi? Kyobashi. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is go from Kyobashi to Amagasaki. And so that should take me to Kobe. Um, and I'm gonna try to go to Harborland. And I should be able to see the Kobe Harbor and yeah, this is gonna be like complete unplanned. Um, I just kind of looked it up right now on Google and I was like, you know what, why not? And so, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to Himeji today, but hopefully I do and everything goes smoothly. Okay, so right now I'm at, uh, what station is this? I'm at Amagasaki Station. So it's like halfway there. Uh, all I have to do is just take one more train and it should take like 30 minutes. I should be in Kobe. Kobe. Um, but after that, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do there again. Cause I'm, it's not completely clear. I'm just like, I'm gonna go to Kobe. I'll figure something out there. So, Harborland and a shrine is my best bet right now. And so I think I'm gonna go to those two places. I'm gonna take one more train and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, now we're back. We are in Kobe now. I just got off the train station um honestly don't know where to go it just looks like any other city right now and so i'm kind of lost already haven't checked google but i don't know i i kind of thought that there'd be like a lot of signs just because it's like a kind of touristy place but so far there's like nothing so oh there's a little sign. So I have one thing that I'm definitely going to, and that's Harborland. I kind of want to go to it at night though. So I'm not sure if I just go back on a train and then go to Ikuta Shrine, um, which should be a little bit more, uh, what, east? Um, yeah, right now, cause I'm like right next to Harborland, so I could just go. Like, Harborland's right there, and then Ikuta Shrine's like up here. So if I was to go, I'd have to take a train back, because I came this way, to take a train back here to go there. But Harborland's literally right there. Shoot. Yo, okay, so today's been like one like sudden thought after another, and now I just had another one. I'm literally walking all the way to the shrine. It's gonna be like, well, Google says it's gonna be a 30 minute walk. So hopefully it's a 30 minute walk and I don't have to walk any more than that. Dude, I, got, I just found something crazy. They're doing like, they've got monkeys doing tricks, bro. Okay, so I've been walking for like 15 minutes. I stumbled upon um, Motomachi. The monkey show was like kind of crazy. I check it out and there's literally a monkey on stilts, bro. Monkey on stilts. After walking for like literally 40 minutes, we finally made it. Still not sure what the shrine is for, but there's a lot of like hearts. Okay, last stop for today. 
We're going to the Kobe, 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 Kobe. We're going to the Kobe Harborland right now. This is gonna be the last time I walk. Well, I guess second to last time, because after I go, they have to go back. But honestly, it's been such a long day. So I'm gonna just go. We're gonna see what's there to see. There's like a tiny kid playing piano. This is crazy, bro. I thought it was a recording. Dude, Japanese kids and their grind. Like, what is this? Okay, so what's up? So we started in um, Osaka, Japan today, and now we ended up in Kobe. We're still gonna have to head over to Himeji today. Um, but yeah, so this is Harborland. Finally got here. Um, I've been hauling around my backpack again for the whole day. And honestly, walking for such a long time it hurts so bad. So hopefully, the trip to Himeji isn't that bad. Hopefully, the train's not too crowded. I don't have any like too many like video ideas right now. So if you guys have something that you guys want to see, or if you guys have something that you guys want me to do um, or check out, just leave it in the comments. Um, as long as you like, like and subscribe, I'll do it. On like, okay within reason i'll do it but yeah hopefully this whole trip goes well and we don't have to do a lot more work finding more places to go okay so i went down the harbor a little bit and i saw the ferris wheel and this like light post thing and then i come across this i don't know if i'm pointing at it right now but there's literally a black submarine it's just there a super long day it's almost gonna come to an end. I need to take a train that's gonna take me to Himeji. And then from there, my like Airbnb that I reserved should be like, like I think like 10 blocks away from the station. So it's like not too far of a walk. But yeah, all I gotta do now is get that train ticket and just zoom over there. And after that, I can deal with food or whatever and I'll figure everything else out. Hopefully I have Wi-Fi so I can still keep on like, uploading. If I don't, I'll just have to upload it later in the day. You guys will be seeing this after I upload it, so it doesn't really matter. done with train rides for today all I gotta do now is walk that way the sunset is so pretty today like I oh I might be able to get a better view but it's like pink and like there's mountains right there it just looks so nice it looks like a dream it's there's like there's literally like four shades of pink and purple right now that's really cool I don't know. I hope that tomorrow the weather will become a lot brighter. No more clouds in the way of sun. Like, I know I'm gonna complain that it's really hot all the time, but at the same time, when you come to Japan, you kind of expect it to be like hot. It's been like humid, and but like it's been like a cold humid. So it's like not good at all. And so like yesterday I couldn't even like dry my clothes. like. I washed them, but I couldn't dry them because you have to like air dry a lot of things in Japan. Now I have to go look for my Airbnb. Um, the address says it's like six, seven blocks from here, but I guess I'll just have to find it first. And then after I find it, I might just go to a convenience store, get some food, get snacks, get a drink. Um, yeah, I already finished off my two liter like bottle and so I have to get a new one. But yeah, I'm super hungry. I'm super tired. I just don't want to do anything anymore. But I still have editing to do.